If there's a person in this room who is here because you hate another person because of the color of their skin or their religion or their origin, you are in the wrong party. There is no place for hate or for anyone in the BNP. We are engaged in a struggle against tyrants as our kinfolk were engaged in a struggle against tyrants. We are engaged in a struggle against tyrants who seek to take away your right to be British in Britain. They seek the destruction of everything that your forefathers have worked for. They seek the destruction of you as a distinct racial genetic group. And they intend to do this within the next 30 to 40 to 50 years. For the last 50 years, more and more of the people of Britain have watched with concern and growing dismay and sometimes anger as an out-of-touch political elite has transformed our country before our very eyes. It's not just a matter of mass immigration, although that's the most obvious symptom of it. It's handing us over to rule by unelected bureaucrats in Brussels. It's turning the Commonwealth of this country, our public services, into private profit centres for giant corporations. It's banning St George's Day festivals while encouraging everyone else to celebrate their festivals, usually through taxpayers' money. In so many ways, the Liberal elite have transformed this country, and as they've done so, they've forced people to be quiet about it, with laws which make telling the truth an offence, a prison offence. The anger of the British people has been held behind dams, walls of lies, growing ever taller and ever thicker for the last 50 years. No one in their right mind no one with any semblance of sanity would go to Japan and tell the Japanese they don't have the right to be Japanese in Japan. No one in their right mind would go to China and tell the Chinese they don't have the right to have the Chinese culture and the Chinese people in China. Who in their right mind would go to Saudi Arabia and tell the Saudis they don't have the right to be Muslim? Who in their right mind would go and tell the Saudis that in 10 or 20 years time Mecca or Medina would not be, it will no longer be a Muslim city. And I'll tell you something else, they would be justified in objecting to an invasion of that scale because they have the right to have their culture in their own country. They have the right to be Pakistani in Pakistan and we have the right to be British in Britain. They can break the BNP, they think they can break the British people, they are in for a surprise.